Want to share your love of mountain biking with your child, but they're too little to keep up on the trail? Kids Ride Shotgun is here to help you solve that. Already popular elsewhere, but just introduced to the North American market, the Kids Ride Shotgun Child Bike Seat is unique in that it's been designed specifically for mountain biking. This means it works with virtually all mountain bikes, including those with unusual suspension designs, carbon fiber frames, and dropper posts. Now that you know it will work with your bike, there is probably only one question left in your mind. Is it fun? Heck yeah it is. Unlike many other front-mounted bike seats that attach to the seat post, the shotgun seat mounts directly to the frame. The first time you install the seat, expect to spend some time on the process, of maybe 15 to 20 minutes. After that, it takes about five minutes to remove or reinstall the seat on the same bike. The one really nice thing about the shotgun seat is that when you remove it from your bike, you aren't left with anything installed on the bike. This is different from the Mac Ride, for instance, which requires a semi-permanent installation of a special headset space. One thing to be aware of, though, is that the seat is not easily transferable between frames. When we swapped the seat from my bike to a friend's bike, we had to go through the initial installation process all over again. This could be a huge pain if you and your spouse both plan on using the seat. We installed the shotgun seat on several different full suspension frames and had no issue with any of them. I was particularly curious to see if the seat would fit on my Ibis Mojo with its unique frame design, and it did. Considering my mountain bike is my baby, and I'm sure yours is too, I was happy to see that the portions of the seat that come in contact with the frame are well covered in protective rubber. Many front-mounted seats, like the Tyke Toter, install to the seat post. This makes use of a dropper post impossible or limited. Since the shotgun seat installs to the frame rather than the seat post, there are no limits on what you can do with your dropper. The saddle is well padded and ergonomic for young kids. The tilt is also adjustable so you can get just the right angle so your child isn't slipping forward or backward. You may also choose to install the optional grips. This installs to your handlebars with a couple of hex bolts. If your child is smaller or if the positioning of the seat on your frame causes them to lean over excessively, the grips may be a good idea. They provide a bit of a rise so your child can sit up more upright. The one major con we found on the shotgun seat is that the legs don't extend and are fixed in place. This was no big deal for our two-year-old tester. She fit great, but as your child grows, the extendable legs are nice. If you plan on using the seat for several years, we preferred the Mac Ride in this area. On a front-mounted bike seat, stirrups or foot straps are a must. We learned this the hard way when our son stuck his foot in my front wheel while riding on the Tyke Toter. Fortunately, the Kids Ride Shotgun seat has rubber foot straps that do a good job of keeping little feet from sliding forward toward the wheel. That said, there are only two settings of adjustment and we found the smallest one was still too loose for our two-year-old tester. It would be nice to be able to snug these straps up even more. While the shotgun seat is advertised for kids between two and five years old, we think a better guideline is weight and maturity. On the upper end, the maximum weight for the seat is 48 pounds. Our petite six-year-old is still well under the weight limit and we were able to ride reasonably comfortable with him on the seat. We know other kids who are four years old and would be pushing the weight limit already. On the bottom end, a child needs to be at least two to ride the seat and possibly older. This depends entirely on maturity. Make sure your child is old enough to hold on and to follow instructions. In our opinion, the Kid Ride Shotgun Seat is far preferable to a traditional trailer which is confined to double track or rail trails or a trailer cycle like the WeHoo. It's lightweight, doesn't have turning radius issues, and is simply more fun and interactive for kids. If you want to fit more rides into your busy family schedule, bond with your child, and just have a heck of a lot of fun with your favorite little partner, getting the shotgun seat is a no-brainer. The seat retails for $150 US dollars, and you can buy it at kidsrideshotgun.com. For even more information on Kids Ride Shotgun, visit our website and our detailed review at rascalrides.com. Please hit subscribe so you can get our future product guides, reviews, tips, and more to help you have more fun biking together with your family.